So I was just checking out my bingo card, and I think there's something I missed on there. RMC and Larson? Together? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't on there for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't see this one coming. <laughs> RMC and Larson are merging to make one big industry powerhouse. Rocky Mountain Larson Looper. Yeah, I, I don't know what's gonna yes. happen as far as uh, the name changes. That'll, that'll be I don't think I don't, there's gonna be one. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I mean, because they say that you know they're merging, but I must. They're also saying that their companies in Idaho and Texas are gonna continue to operate like those aren't going anywhere. So. And that they'll be at IAPA independently. Well, at least Idaho. for the first year. For 2023, yeah. yeah I don't so. know. This is gonna be one to watch for sure. This is just the first big initial announcement, uh, but we do have a press release with some important information here. This change is effective immediately that RMC and Larson are gonna be merging together. So it's not like next year or anything, like it's already happened. Yeah, well, and that also tells you that this has been in, clearly in the works for, for some time now. Yeah. The new organization will provide a broader ride portfolio, which makes sense. Right now, RMC only manufactures roller coasters. Larson does not really do roller coasters. They do like flat rides and carnival rides. What are you talking about? They do rides. super loops. That's a credit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> As of right now, there are no changes in staffing, so it seems like everybody who works for each company is good. Yeah, yeah. Now, they do say that the president of Larson, his name is Jeff Novotny, is retiring, and so his son Hunter is going to be taking over that division. Uh, which is which is interesting. Actually, if you saw This Is How We Roll, Jeff Novotny was in there because him and Fred have been like friends for a long time now. And of course, Fred has since retired, so now Darren has taken over. Darren has been featured in several Coaster Studios videos. Mm -hmm. uh, most recently, we just saw him at Airy Force less than a week ago at this point. Yeah. So uh, he's now going to be heading both companies, which is great. Yeah, Darren seems like a very, very, very talented businessman. Mm -hmm. On top of, you know, clearly he has a background in manufacturing and engineering and all that mm -hmm. stuff, but like, he seems like he has a very clear vision of where he wants to see RMC go. Yeah. And I think that joining forces with, you know, a company that they already know and trust, like clearly this relationship, like you said, was built by Fred yeah. and Jeff. They've done work together in the past. Exactly. You know, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes. You don't always see that, like on the front lines. Exactly, you know? but I think, I think that it's cool that RMC might have like, you know, a chance to dip their toes in like the flat ride industry and, and doing things like that because if you look at most other major manufacturers like Intamin, for example, like they do things other than roller coasters. Like yeah. RMC is one of the only major manufacturers that don't do anything else. Yeah, yeah, that's so, definitely true. So this is kind of like a step probably in the right direction because yeah. then you have a bigger market. They did work with SNS to do the 40 free spins, which are essentially like so, <laughs> I mean, so they like kind of have an idea of how to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Th again, this is gonna be something that I'm just like so fascinated seeing what happens here. Like we've only ever known RMC as like roller coasters, but now this might be how they get there in. Like one of my favorite things from Larson is their drop towers. Yeah, and and, good. Uh, and really honestly, fun. we don't know how much of their company portfolios are gonna change. They might continue to op to do the exact same stuff. How much airtime would an RMC drop tower have? <laughs> And contrary to what you might think, RMC is still a relatively small company, you know, like Intamin has multiple offices scattered around the world, you know, all these different places where, you know, they're manufacturing B&M, same thing. They, they're building the rides in Ohio as well as they have offices in Europe and stuff. So RMC, they do everything just out of a couple shops in yeah. North Idaho. So now I hesitate they can... to call them a small business, but they kind of are. Yeah, yeah. As far exactly. as like the industry goes. Yeah, I mean, but they're still still growing and have uh, clearly huge huge plans here. So, um, and I think it will help that they can now use Plainview as another like manufacturing location. That doesn't necessarily mean that they'll start manufacturing the roller coaster side of things. Everyone in Plainview is viewers like. Yes. Yeah. I know, but you know, it's also worth mentioning that Larson does a lot of work with the National Roller Coaster Museum yeah. that's uh, currently being built. So, and RMC has obviously been very uh, involved with that. They've done yeah. several like pieces for them. So, uh, that's also like another great way that they're merging together, like all to help make this industry better. You yeah, know? and I think they will. I've met people from Larson and, and RMC. Oh, yeah. They're all so talented. Like, yeah. they, they clearly know their stuff. A lot of these people have been in this business for a long time. Um, extensive backgrounds like I have no doubt that this is going to be beneficial for for both companies and, oh, yeah. and that they're in good hands Absolutely. so I'm excited I'm excited to see this yeah I don't know if you guys have any any thoughts like please let us know because yeah this is kind of like a weird turn of events like mm-hmm hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coast Studios and we'll see you next time